Hi, this is Chuck again with another bit of helpful information. Uh, before I begin, I want to remind you, don't forget to like and subscribe to our ServiceNow Developer YouTube channel. And if you have similar tips to share, tag the content with ServiceNow DYK. Now, as many of you know, I'm big into integrations. Sometimes when I get a JSON payload back, it's rather tough to read. Now, if this were an XML payload, we could use a field type of XML to get a little orange tag next to the field label. And when we click it, a pop-up appears and we see the XML all nicely formatted. Interestingly, there's no such thing as a JSON field type. But did you know there's a dictionary attribute you can add to a string field to do the same thing with JSON content? Let's take a look. Here's a JSON payload. We're going to right click on the payload label and choose configure dictionary. Yeah, I know there's a few other ways you can get to the dictionary entry for this field. You use the one you like. Now, we'll scroll down to the attributes related list and click new. The attribute we want is called JSON view. We'll set it to true and save. Now we could also add it by clicking advanced view in the dictionary and adding JSON under view equals true to the attributes field. Some of you old timers may remember this as the only way to manage dictionary attributes and you can still use it. But personally, I prefer the related list way since it's less prone to typos. Now let's go back to our record with the payload field. Take a look. There's now this little icon next to the field label and when we click it, we get a pop-up with the formatted JSON. Pretty cool. But wait, I've got another one for you. When we get a string field in a list that has more than 40 characters, it displays the first 40 and then dot dot dot. Sure, we can hover over the entry and see a tip that shows the entire thing, but sometimes we may need to see the whole string. Did you know there's a way to prevent that truncation? Let's open up that record again and this time configure the dictionary for the requested IDs field. Just like before, we're going to add a dictionary attribute. This time, we'll add one called no truncate and set it to true. While it doesn't affect the form view, when we return to the list, it shows the entire string. This one comes with a warning. Do not use it everywhere because it can really make a mess of our lists. If we were to apply no truncate to our payload field, look what happens. Not the best experience. Well, that's it for this time. Thanks for watching.